P.O. Ferry's mass sacking of 800 British seafarers to replace them with agency crew was known about in No. 10 the night before it happened, a leaked memo revealed. Dubai-based DP World, which owns the ships, informed staff in a pre-recorded video message their employment was over on Thursday, March 17. But government officials, it emerged, were aware of the company's plans on Wednesday. March 16, with Labour and unions accusing Prime Minister Boris Johnson's team of being complicit in PIOS move. A memo sent to ministers by a senior Whitehall official, and seen by the Sunday Times, outlined P.O. Ferry's strategy before the sackings took place, the newspaper said. According to the note, Department for Transport civil servants explained the action to colleagues the night before the redundancies. It read, we understand that P.O. Ferries have an intention to try and re-employ many staff on new terms and conditions or use agency staff to restart routes. Without these decisions, an estimated 2,200 staff would likely lose their jobs. These changes will align them with other companies in the market who have undertaken a large reduction in staff. The memo also said the sackings were designed to ensure PO remained a key player in the UK market for years to come through restructuring. The Prime Minister's official spokesman said, I don't know exactly when the Prime Minister was informed. And the Department for Transport, DFT, said it was standard practice for officials to outline what they had been told by a private firm in an internal memo. A DFT spokesperson said, this was sent before ministers were advised of the full details and as soon as they were informed, they made clear their outrage at the way in which PO staff had been dismissed. It is clear from the memo that our immediate priority was to work with unions to ensure workers' rights continue to be protected and the Transport Secretary has urged the company to sit down with workers and reconsider this action. But Francis O'Grady, General Secretary of the Trades Union Congress, Tuck, said, Ministers, from the Prime Minister down, have serious questions to answer. This report shows his government sat on its hands and did nothing while hundreds of jobs and livelihoods were on the line.